On the night Bougie died, several RCMP members drove to the Red Pheasant Cree Nation and surrounded the home of Debbie Baptiste, guns drawn. Baptiste's son, Colton Bougie, had been fatally shot by Stanley only hours before. Officers were looking for a witness. They were also there to tell Baptiste her son was dead. An independent commission concluded earlier this year that officers went into Baptiste's home, questioned her sobriety, and smelled her breath. This, they said, amounted to racial discrimination. It's been a hard five years for Debbie. She's had to grieve publicly. She hasn't really seen justice yet. The RCMP accepted that finding. It also acknowledged that the way it doled out information about the shooting in media statements caused stress for the family. But nowhere in the many pages of the response has the RCMP apologized outright for the way officers treated Baptiste because she was Indigenous. Today on a First Nation just outside Saskatoon, Baptiste again called out the RCMP. She says she needs an apology in order to properly heal over her son Colton Bushy's death. Come here with a heavy heart today. I hope and pray for change within the justice system. This racism should not be in the justice system. Discrimination don't belong there either. I miss my son so much. We sought comment from the RCMP today. The force says that it reached out to the Bushi family earlier this year, but that a meeting never happened. And that if one did happen, it wouldn't share the details of that conversation anyway. Now, nobody from the Bushi family took questions today, but everybody speaking here agreed that over the last five years, Bushi's mother, Debbie Baptiste, has been a tireless advocate for the fair treatment of Indigenous people in Canada's justice system. Guy Kemble, CBC News, Saskatoon.